Across Europe, celebrities or members of the royal family are often asked to launch ships and open new facilities, but this is the Swiss way. A unique cable car for the Stanzerhorn mountain in central Switzerland is christened in an old-fashioned religious ceremony. We knew that our license was going to run out for the old cable car that was yeah, on the exact same place. Since we had to do something new, we figured, why should we do what everyone else does? We want to have something special that customers think, let's go here, rather than what everyone else has. You have more and more lakes that pop up that you can see. You have the Vosges Mountains in France, the Black Forest, the German that pops up. Of course, the city of Lucerne. It's a real experience to travel up here with a cabriol. It cost nearly 25 million francs to build the new cable car. The company had only 5.4 million of its own and was granted a 6 million franc interest-free loan from the canton and government. The gesture was aimed at stimulating the local economy. Cable cars are a driving factor in the tourism system. The Federation and Canton decided to lend money for the project for the sake of regional development. Tourism is an important branch of the local economy and helps to guarantee jobs for the local people. Pilatus is the big local competitor of the Stanzerhorn. The steepest cogwheel railway in the world transports tourists to the top on one side. There are cable cars on the other side. The two lifts are very close to each other. They're both geared towards summer tourism, in contrast to mountain railways in Canton Valley, Graubünden and the Bernese Alps. So they are in competition, but the Pilatus railway has positioned itself very well because of its new investments. Pilatus recently spent 30 million of its own money on renovating its hotel and restaurant facilities at the top of the mountain, reopening in July 2011. This is the Kulm Hotel, built in 1890, one year after the Cogwheel Railway. Um, we took everything off the hotel and built actually a nearly new hotel inside, except of the, the restaurant, the Queen Victoria restaurant. This room, this restaurant now looks as it looked 120 years ago. There's also a new conference centre, which is proving very popular. A couple of years ago, a rope park and a toboggan were added. These high-octane sports are a world apart from the Stanzerhorn's attractions, a revolving restaurant and mountain rangers who can take you on a free nature walk. The Stanzerhorn was the first in Switzerland to offer this service. Da die ganze Bergkette ist sichtbar auf dem Stanzerhorn ungefähr 100 Kilometer. Die markantesten Punkte sind diese Berge im Dreigestirn, Eiger, Mönch und Jungfrau. You have to be hosts, friendly hosts, and quality is a major goal that we have to follow. And then people will feel comfortable, they will come back, they will be repeaters. So that's very, very important. And then you have to, do you have to look after your infrastructure. You could save money for a few years and not invest and in, keep that up to date. But sooner or later, the investment will be too big. With its friendly approach and new investments, could the Cabrio snatch clients from Pilatus? It's good that they mm, are building a new cabin. For us, it's something we have to think about because we are renewing our big cabin in, uh, in 2014 and we are now thinking about what we will offer. We will see what they are doing and then we will do something else, something better. Mm -hmm.